Do you use concealer and do you also use primer? Today I'm going to show you two different techniques that I have learned recently. So welcome to my channel. Let's pull this hair back. My name is Carolina and I have mature skin. I'm 60 years old. I'm going to try these techniques for the first time today. The first technique that I want to try is by Robert Welch. I have been following him for many years and have learned so much from him. He is so talented. The technique has to deal with primer. Or He's saying that most people are not using or applying the product properly. So this is what he suggests. No matter what product you use, okay, he uses something else on that video. I This is what I have. I'm not going to go and buy something new right now. So this is what I have. It's by the brand Tatcha, which is very well known. And it's called the Liquid Silk Canvas. Okay, so I bought this at Sephora. Maybe I can make it work better for me if I follow Robert's technique. So what he's saying is that instead of applying the primer like it is like a moisturizer, for example, like that most people do that, I was doing that until I saw this video. Uh, you're supposed to apply a little bit like on your finger okay like that and just put it over like like this okay just put it over and probably i did too much okay but not necessarily rub it okay i'm gonna take the excess off you're supposed to like just tap it in like like use your finger and then with like circular motion, have circular motion, just tap it in like this, okay? And especially on the areas where you want those pores to minimize, okay? Until your product is completely absorbed. Just like that. Rest of my face, I'm just gonna apply usual because I don't have so much texture on the rest of the face like I do on my nose area. Okay? Just to have like a nice smooth canvas for the makeup. And that's all there is to it. I believe he said you wait until it's completely dry and absorbed and then proceed with your makeup. So ready for makeup. The second technique has to deal with concealer. Love this one. This is my most favorite concealer ever is the Hourglass Concealer. I swear by this concealer. It's very thick. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Okay. It is very thick, very creamy, very rich, but the concealer is fantastic. I usually will go ahead and put it here like a tr little triangle and maybe a little dot here and then maybe a little line here to lift my cheek. I was watching this one creator and her name so. is... It's actually a makeup artist. I started following her recently and I love, love her videos on TikTok. Uh, that you should put the concealer on like a plate or on the back of your hand, like I'm going to do here, okay? Instead. All right. And a little bit goes a long way. I'm using the shade Pearl. She says that instead of putting it straight on your face better for you to grab it with a brush okay and then start from the bottom up okay like apply it with a brush first and look at this this concealer is so rich that that little bit can go for both sides I usually just dip it once and that's it, okay? So she says to put it on the places that you want the concealer to be on. You 
wait until it dries okay so that's what i'm going to do i'm gonna use the rest of it i still have some there for my eyelids and i put it on my eyelids because the color of the eyeshadow that i use will definitely show more like the true colors that the eyeshadows can show better than applying it on the bare eyelid again like creating a canvas a clean canvas especially if you have like veins and whatnot you know or dark spots like i do this coloration to start working from the bottom up, okay? And you can see, oh my gosh, that actually worked. I can't believe, sometimes I, I try all these techniques and I was like, eh, no, that was a way, you know, that was just a video, another video and another video. But no, I think this technique, look at that. It's like almost seamlessly blended into my skin and I don't have any foundation on yet. Pretty brighten, it's even, it's not cakey, it's not like dry, it is not too much. I think it's just perfect, okay? So I'm gonna do this side next. And I am done. To summarize, the technique is not to apply the concealer directly on your face, but rather somewhere on your arm or the back of your hand, and or even on your the palm of your hand will be a great a place to put concealer on or any kind of product, and then grab it from there and put it where you want it, and then start blending from the bottom up. So that's exactly what we did, and I am. Surprise, so two techniques, two beautiful techniques that work by two different creators. So they know what they're doing. Okay. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new today, just like I did. And to be applying these techniques from now on, the more you know. Have a great day, thank you.